I'm 36, soon to be 37. I've been together with my boyfriend for 15 years. Why is there no kids? Guess who's driving again? Me. Guess who has only been driving two times in the past two months? Me. We're going grocery shopping and now I'm gonna focus on the road because it's also been raining. I have never been driving in rain. Oopsie. Okay, speak soon. I had to stop and clean the side windows because I don't see freaking anything. Let's continue. Driving in the rain, wow, the visibility is just so much worse. I made it in one piece, you guys. This was actually fun. A little bit adventurous for my little anxious self, but we're here and that's what matters. And now I'm gonna go grocery shopping and after I'm gonna show you what I got. I made it, I'm home. I should do this more often because this was actually fun. Okay, let's pretend I'm still on that parking lot at the grocery store and I'm showing you everything that I got there because I wanted to do that. But then I started filming and then I saw that there's a restaurant overlooking the parking lot and there was people literally eating their breakfast and watching me. And I didn't want to have a live audience so I stopped and I evacuated home. So here we are, but let me show you what I got. I really need that stand thingy. I do this and you guys go, I got some apples for my boyfriend and the donkey that is living up there. She's obsessed with apples. It's her favorite food. I tried carrots. She was kind of into them, but not too much. But the apples, she devoured. I got everything that I needed and more because I see here over 50% of stuff that I didn't need, but still want. One of the things, for example, these protein bars. I love having one of these after breakfast. It's like a little breakfast dessert. They're delicious. Then I got some pets, avocados, some popsicles for my boyfriend. He really likes those. I don't. I tried one of these a few weeks ago and it is not my thing. Then we got some cherry tomatoes, bananas, I took the green ones because we still have some that are ripe, a bag of carrots, and then I got some nuts, some walnuts and cashews. These are my favorite nuts probably, this and macadamia. My gut doesn't really do well with nuts but I am still eating them. Wow, in fact, let's have one right now. I didn't have breakfast yet. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna miss those when I'm on the protocol. Also, you guys, nuts are healthy. You know that your gut health is very effed when it doesn't even accept healthy food. I know you guys are probably thinking this girl is totally insane. She treats bananas and apples and fruit as it's a freaking germ. I know they're healthy foods and I want to be able to consume them. That's why I'm going on that protocol so that I can have all this variety of foods and not be bloated like a freaking balloon. I know how insane I sound, okay? The last treat that I got that is also one of the things that I'm not gonna be able to have on my protocol because chocolate because rice rice is a carb i'm not gonna be able to have it again insane i know stupid yes i agree tell this to my intestines because they need to hear it yeah these things are very good they're these rice cakes covered with dark chocolate and mwah, they're delicious am i bloated though after eating those Absolutely. Am I still gonna have them? For the next couple of days, yes. Because remember, Christmas, birthday, New Year's Eve celebrations are still going on and going strong. I just had my eggs for breakfast. I changed. I also took out the ponytail because it's giving me a headache, always. Not done eating yet because I'm still gonna have my protein bar and some cashews. And while we eat, let's do a little mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. I'm sure it's none of those. You know what I mean. So let's answer another question. What is your favorite video overall and the favorite to film? Okay. Mm. I'm gonna miss having this thing after breakfast. It is just so nice with a little dessert. How do you do that mukbang? You have to eat and talk at the same time. I feel uncomfortable doing that. Wait a second. Favorite video out of all is probably the Halloween costumes. You know the one with the bird, bat, jellyfish, the strawberry. I think the costumes were just amazing. I still have some of them, not all because they were a little bit bulky. I have to check them out actually. They're stored in the garage. The video was just funny. The DIYs were amazing. We also introduced Maya for the first time ever there. I do remember though being very anxious when we were filming it. We went somewhere in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by the fields, but still there was a farmer, a car from time to time passing us by. I remember feeling so awkward. I was dressed like this bird and the jellyfish, big costume. You could see from far away that something's not right. This girl is doing something weird and not on Halloween because I had to film it way in advance. And as for the favorite video to film, I would say sneaking toys in class because we just had so much fun filming the teacher. I'm just gonna leave this here and see it for it's yourself. <laughs> it's considered to be... <laughs> it's considered to be... Oh! Uh -oh. 
I could easily devour this bag in one go. These days we've been doing some maintenance job on our terrace. If you remember how the wood here on the porch looked before, under this roof it was kind of looking okay. But all of this part was looking completely black and the wood was definitely screaming for some paint, like it was time. So first my boyfriend had to pressure wash the entire terrace and now it's time to paint. Three years ago when we were doing this we decided to go for the transparent paint but now we went for a little bit darker color because we think it's a bit more protective. It is a very deep brown and it's called hazelnut. So basically I'm painting my terrace with Nutella and I'm not mad about it. This terrace is obviously huge so to make the time pass a little bit faster let me answer a few more questions. Do you live alone? Will you be doing a house and garden tour? Are the house renovations finished? Ever since getting a house I realized that renovations and maintenance are never ending. There is always stuff to do, always things to fix. I guess it will never stop. There's definitely things inside the house that we want to switch like the kitchen, we want to get a new couch because we hate the one that we have now, the dining table as well, we're just over that white high shine aesthetic, you know. Do I live alone? No, I live with my boyfriend. And as far as the garden and house store, I think you guys have seen the majority of the house already and I'm sure I'm going to show you more of the garden in the future as well. What is your education? I have a master degree in finance. If I would be choosing my studies again, I don't think I would choose that. I'm very interested in nutrition, holistic medicine, functional medicine, finance and economics, not really. I'm literally getting blisters from so much painting. I gotta hold the brush like this from time to time, so that's why it looks weird. It is the next morning and this is how far we've come. I'd say we're a bit more than halfway through. I think it will look very beautiful. The color of the wood is now almost the same as the floor we have in the house. So it kind of connects the inside and outside area way better. I'm now gonna have a meeting with my holistic nutritionist. I have sent him all of my lab tests from the past five years. I have all of my notes here and hopefully he will tell me what he thinks is wrong with me and what is the plan. How to get rid of this constant flush. Let me zoom you in. You can see the difference between the skin on my hand and the skin on my face. It's just like not in the same group of colors. This is much more olivey and this totally like inflamed, sensitive, red. I also got some cystic acne here the result of me eating delicious foods these past days and when I get those cystic acne they do not go away for two months this guy's gonna be here up until Christmas my skin also just feels like a sandpaper you know bumpy rough dry and at the same time oily the pores are humongous I'm just completely over living life in this kind of damaged skin okay now let's get on with this meeting I've had my meeting and you can see the redness popping even more but I have found out a lot of very interesting things and I am super super excited to start. I do still have three, four days before I get the protocol from him so I guess I'm gonna still enjoy the next couple of days but then the real work begins. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you everything, what I have, what the plan is, I'm gonna keep you posted. Chocolate banana smoothie with some vanilla collagen. See, I'm not eating just trash these days. I am now gonna put on a little bit of makeup. Actually, I have to take the before photos before starting the protocol. One sec. I think I'm also gonna post them in our rosacea program closed group. If I'll have enough courage though, I'm not set on that yet. One from the front, one side, the other side. I got the pics, but I just feel like the lighting here inside the house makes it look a little bit better than it is actually in real life. Look. I don't know, I think the reality is worse than here. I think I'm gonna take a few more pictures here outside on the natural lighting and then we'll talk. The front, one side, the other side. Good. I took too many photos, one of them will work. Now let's put on a teeny tiny bit of makeup. Why Sara, are you going somewhere today? No, 
I'm totally staying at home. So why makeup then? Well, it is just extremely easier to edit myself when I have a little bit of makeup on. Because trust me, when you're looking, I know, we gotta love ourselves in all the seasons, good and bad. But when you're looking at yourself for hours and hours every day and you have to stare at this inflamed skin, trust me, you get frustrated. So I'm just making my life as an editor a little bit easier. There's nothing wrong about that. I'm so looking forward to the days when my skin will look like this without makeup. Am I delusional for dreaming about that? Only time will tell. The older I get, the more I feel like I need something on the lips, otherwise I look dead. Just a teeny tiny bit makes all the difference. Next, I wanna make lunch, and for that I wanna make guacamole, and for that I need parsley, and for that I need to go check my garden. I don't know if you guys can hear anything that I'm saying because it is such an extremely windy day today but let's see if we can find some parsley. I used to have so much parsley in the winter and then I sold another round in the spring and now I only have this. That's all. Can someone explain? Because I don't get it. But I guess it's gonna be enough for that one guacamole. Also gonna grab that leek. Might as well eat things up while I can. I can't pick up the vegetables and I don't bring a single gardening tool, a basket, nothing. What is this? We need a food processor. You guys saw how little parsley I have. And also, it has been attacked so much by these black bugs. I absolutely need to inspect every single leaf. I think this one is fine. You know what, if this guacamole ends up tasting extremely good, then we're gonna know that the secret ingredient is those tiny black bugs. I don't know why some people hate peeling the garlic. It is honestly the easiest vegetable to peel. I don't get it. What else? Avocados. Avocados really are an interesting species. They're like not ripe enough, not ripe enough, not ripe enough, and then all of a sudden too ripe, moldy, rotten. But as I'm saying that, I just got the most perfect avocado ever. This guy really proved me wrong. I like how some avocados are so easy to peel. It is very, very satisfying. Look at that, so perfect. While we're cooking, let's answer one more question. When will you resume making those DIY and competition videos with Katie, Maya, and Miss Teacher? Hmm. Guys, I'm gonna turn 37 in a few months, but relax. I still have three full months. We're not there yet. As I'm editing this, my birthday is only two weeks away. Another great avocado. Wow. Many of you guys are saying that those videos were your childhood, so that makes me think that you guys are now grown up. Would you really be interested in watching those kind of videos again? Or would you just like to watch them and reminisce over your childhood? All of those videos are still on the channel, so anytime you can go back and watch them. But to make those videos again, I don't think I want to go there. I feel like I've done all the DIYs already. The school DIYs, the room decor. I have glued on the notebooks every single thing that you can glue on a notebook. The pom-poms, the glitter, the jeans pocket, the sequin, the plushy fabric, the felt, the paint, the stamp. I feel like I've done it all. By the way, I have very little tomatoes for my guacamole, so not enough parsley, not enough tomatoes. This guacamole is seriously gonna be lacking. The only thing that it will have in abundance are those black bugs. Line up everyone, Sarah's guacamole serve. To answer that question, let me ask you another question. Do you really want to see those or do you just think that you would like to see those? But actually, you're too old for them, just like me. Think about it. There is absolutely no food in my fridge except eggs and milk. But I do have a lemon, otherwise this guacamole would really suck. Pour the lemon juice into the food processor. A little bit of salt, eyeball it. Electricity check, lid check, whiz up. Wow, very smooth, but I do wish I would have more parsley. I'm not putting the onions in my guacamole because I hate raw onions. Really hope there are none of those insects mixed in, but if they are, they taste delicious. I'm gonna mix in the cherry tomatoes. One thing I hate about cooking is that I have to constantly wash my hands. I touch something, wash hands. I touch something else, wash hands. It is annoying. We gotta mix this thing up. I really wish I had double the amount of tomatoes. I love cooking in this pan and I feel like the food tastes better. But one thing that I hate is that the food also sticks on the pan very easily. The cleanup is a bit more tedious. <sighs> Yummy, the chart also good and the guacamole wait i didn't get a single tomato now mm. for the dessert i made this blueberry sorbet and it is just mm. but in the past week i've learned this trick take the frozen blueberries you wash them you use them up make a normal sorbet and then you grab some vanilla collagen you pop in one scoop 
whiz up again and this thing gets so much more fluffy and it also like doubles in volume and I love that because why would I want to have a little bit of the sorbet if I can have double the amount you see this is how I'm eating my blueberry sorbet till the rest of my life guys I wanted to show you something these flowers behind me they're called back to school lilies and that is because they bloom in September when kids are going back to school there's so many randomly growing around here this time of the year they're so interesting because they don't have any green parts they look like someone would pick them up make a bouquet and just place them in the grass since I am in this beautiful company right now let's answer one more question your eating habits girl I don't even have a clue myself anymore because of this thing I've been trying and testing so many different things for the past four years I literally went from not consuming dairy for the past three years to having 20 liters of raw milk in the fridge I went from not eating eggs at all to having 60 eggs on hand at all times currently things are all kinds of crazy I would love to be one of that people who eat the rainbow they eat everything they feel great I am not not yet but I will be. Why did you decide to shift from Bergen to Portugal? Two main reasons, the weather and the prices. Although Bergen was not very cold, the winter lasted for such a big part of the year. I would say from October till April, it was very cold and I like to film outside. So I decided to come here where I discovered that we have maybe just as much rain and also a lot of wind as for example today but still we can have a very warm day in the middle of December, January, February the temperatures here are never very low and also I can grow my own vegetables that means a lot and the real estate prices are better here you get much more for your money you know I am on my little morning stroll and there is this question that I want to answer. Do you ever want to have kids? If yes, how many? If not, why? I know, I'm 36, soon to be 37, I've been together with my boyfriend for 15 years, why is there no kids? Oof, that's intense, I think I need to sit, but everything's wet. The terrace is also wet, let's just go sit in the car. I kind of hate the lighting here and also your crooked, but it's gonna have to work, so. I do love kids. The idea of taking care of someone, showing them the world, teach them things. It sounds adorable and I always thought, oh yeah, one day I'm gonna have kids. But this one day is just getting pushed away. When we were 25, we were thinking, okay, maybe in three years. But then when I was 28, the YouTube kicked off. And for the next five years, from 28 to 33, I was eating, breathing, sleeping YouTube. That was all I thought about. During that time, I started developing my rosacea and rosacea is not just a skin issue, it is an internal imbalance. And after that, I started focusing a lot on my health and basically, I'm still here now. Still having rosacea, still having the messed up gut, so here we are. I really hate this setup here. I'm tilting my camera so it feels more like I'm outside when I'm not. Let's not discuss my outfit today, okay? Let's not even go there. I'm not even gonna act as if I don't dress up like this on a daily basis. This is how my boyfriend knows me. This is how I look like every day and he's still with me after 15 years. He's a keeper. Back to the kids discussion. When you are on these gut healing protocols using antimicrobials, antifungals, you cannot get pregnant. Like it's not good because the body is already doing so much healing and so much detoxifying. It's a no-no. Besides that, I love my life as it is. I feel like my days are full and maybe I'm just afraid of change and I'm overthinking it. Cause there's no rewind. Once you decide for a kid, that's it till the rest of your life. And that is scary. It's a big decision, the biggest decision ever I guess I'm over this car setup let's go out and sometimes it just makes me sad how we as a humanity treat the planet and the animals and I wonder is there anything good that we're doing at all when I start thinking about it I feel like we're all just trash producing machines animal species are getting extinct because of us animal tourism having dolphins and whales trapped in small pools having them to perform tricks while we sit and eat popcorn and watch and laugh. When I start thinking about these things, I get a feeling that this world would be so much better off without us in the picture. And I wonder, do I even want to reproduce? Also, I read an article a while ago about this photographer who decided at young age that he's not gonna have kids. So the interviewer asked him, how come you made this decision? And he said that majority of people who have kids have them for selfish reasons. And I was just like, 
what? Because a lot of the times you hear, oh, they don't have kids, they're selfish. They just want to spend time for themselves. So, hello, I was really shocked reading that. But then he explained why he thinks so. And he said, if you ask people, why do you want to have kids? People will tell you, oh, I really want a family. I want to experience this special form of love. I always wanted to have children. Having a kid will give meaning to my life. Or I don't want to be lonely when I'm old. I want somebody to inherit everything I work hard for. If you think about these reasons, it's just me, me, me. I want this. I want that. I want my life to be like that. And that really got me thinking. He said that the only right reason should be this world is so beautiful, I want someone else to experience it. And I'm not saying that people who have kids or want to have kids are selfish. This is not what I said, this is what he said. But it was a very interesting view. Seriously guys, being a parent is, or at least it seems to me, like the hardest thing. So props to all of you who have kids, I admire you. I don't even know how you can juggle work, kids, housework, potentially some self-care. I don't even have kids and I already struggle. I don't know you guys, there have been times where I really started to stress out because biological clock is ticking, I'm 36, I'm actually 37 in a few months. It's days away girl, days. I'm aware the older you get things could be riskier, but right now I decided to prioritize health and then I'll see what happens. I think if I ever have kids I'm gonna be a good mom, I mean I'm a great mom to 10. I know you cannot compare these two but you can a little bit, she's my baby. So in this moment, I am thinking, yes, I'm gonna have kids in the future, but if I will really have them, time will tell. Good morning. It is the last day of September. I started filming this video in the middle of September. I had big plans and I haven't accomplished none of it. The skin is still a mess. I think I am actually wearing the same outfit as I did the first day. Whatever, I'm still a clock. Some things have changed though. The summer was like, peace out yo, I'm out of here. We've been having so much rain the past few days. See, not everyone has been slacking. The nature has been very productive. Me on the other hand, not so much. I mean, I have been productive on other parts of my life. I've been editing a lot, I was just not working on my health as I thought I would. But the good news is I'm starting tomorrow. For real you guys, because now I have a plan, I have the knowledge, I'm prepared. But I am planning to enjoy one last day, this time it is really the last day to the fullest. We're going out to eat, we're gonna eat good food, maybe we're gonna go to that bakery again. How many times have you guys seen me doing makeup in this video alone? Like I'm not doing the same thing every time. You probably could repeat my makeup routine in your dreams by now. I love my four steps, two minutes makeup routine, but I'm gonna love it even more when I can just wake up and my skin is looking like this. Whoa. I am so looking forward to that moment. I want to buy a new lip pencil. Something like this, but just not that pinky. Maybe we can do it today. I mean, we're having a fun day after all. Because this is just like way too pinky, so I always have to blend it. And after blending, I have to cover it with a little bit of brown. This is too much for me. Why adding another step? When we could just apply the right color of lip pencil and we would be done. My little precious. Mm. Love her so much. She's so cute. How so cute. Okay, 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 okay. I'm eating some macadamia nuts and some walnuts before breakfast, which is no bueno, but I'm living in the moment for one last day. Mm -hmm. mm. These are so good, also so expensive. And the walnut, a pretty good snack, but macadamia wins all the way. I have just uploaded a short and I always like to chat a little bit with you guys in the comments whenever I upload shorts or long videos so if you want to talk with me leave a comment I'd say I answer 80% of the comments at least in the first three days and if I don't answer at least give a heart let me also post a TikTok. Oh, but before that, we can answer a few more questions. What changes you mark in yourself from you in your 20s to you in your 30s? I would say I am more calm. I kind of feel more safe. I am more confident. I am less anxious, still anxious, but less than in my 20s. And also in my 30s, I have learned to let go of control. You can never control everything in life, so it's better to just let go and go with the flow. Oh, some areas. None of us knows what will happen tomorrow. So for the things that you cannot control stop worrying about that. this one is a bit related what would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned in life until now i'd say just realizing that none of us really knows what is going on by the way look at this beautiful ex i'm making breakfast when you're a kid you feel like your parents have it all figured out but then you grow up and you realize that that's not the case when you're 20 you think okay when i'm 30 i'm gonna get there and then suddenly you're 36 <coughs> 37 and you're still like 
what the heck am I even doing here? But at the end of the day, you do not have control over everything and you just have to swim. Just keep swimming. And the more you let go of trying to make your life perfect, the more you can enjoy. That's what I realized. I don't know if it makes sense. It has just started raining, but that's okay because we're just gonna do some shopping, eat lunch. OMG guys, this store has so many cute Christmas decorations, wow. I'm probably not decorating for Christmas this year either, but when I do decide to buy a Christmas tree, ornaments and other decor, this is where I'm coming. I really like this green brown woodland theme or maybe it's better to stick to classic red and white. See, I'm so indecisive. I'm just gonna remain the cringe for one more year. I also have so much stuff in the house already, the DIY supplies, I don't want more class. I got no space for it. My only Christmas decorations this year are this guy. By the way, a hack. This is not a Christmas stuffy. He is just a normal bird. But I happen to have this Christmas hat and I was thinking, where could I put it? And then I thought, why not making this little bird a Christmas bird this time of the year? Plus I have a tiny Christmas tree and a fake present. Oh, and I also have these two snowman ornaments that I made for shorts and they are the cutest little things, but I just don't know where I'm gonna put them because my Christmas tree is kind of too tiny. For lunch, we went to our favorite spot. This is where we always go when we go out to eat. I'm having a salad burger patty, some rice, delish. Oh, and let's not forget about dessert. I haven't had this ice cream in ages and for the last day before going on protocol, it's a must. We're back home from our trip to town. We went to eat and then I also had a cheeky little McFlurry with M&Ms. It was to die for. Mm, so good. If you could choose one food of all of those your gut doesn't allow you to eat, what would it be? It would be... Ta -ta -da -da. Hold on, one second. Can I choose a food group instead of just one food? Because it would be fruit. This one, for example, it looks like a little apple, but tastes completely different. Mm. It is so juicy and tastes really refreshing. The only thing, it has these seeds inside that are very hard. But I mean, I still take it. Fruit is definitely something that I shouldn't be having because of sugar. Right now, okay? I know you guys that fruit is healthy. I know. And when I'm feeling better, I'm looking forward to a day when I can eat a ton of fruit. Things you know are toxic, but you still do that. Okay, 100% snacking. Eating between meals. If you struggle with gut health, I think one of the best things that you can do is stop snacking. Just eat two or three meals per day and that's it. You can eat the snacks, but just include them in your meals. I am totally aware of that. I've seen great benefits when I implement that rule in real life, yet still here I am. But today is the last day, okay? No more snacking from tomorrow on. Also, yes, I haven't made the bed, but that's only because that girl lifestyle starts tomorrow. Every time I say that girl, I think it sounds like dead girl, like girl. It's hard filming vlogs in English when that's not your first language. But I try my best. I'm thinking I should also make baked apples today. Baked apples with cinnamon in a weather like today. Guys, I have to eat up everything that I think of today because tomorrow will be too late. The weather today is so gloomy. The baked apples and this kind of weather are just made to be. Match made in heaven. Whenever it's raining outside or it's a bit cold, then it transforms into this perfect ball of fluff. She started doing this the past year and it's the cutest thing ever. Hopefully in the next vlog, we will find the closure to this never ending gut healing, skin healing saga. Wish me luck and I'm out of here. Bye.